I am on 4th Street and 7 Card Stud, and I'm going to explain in this lesson the oversized check. I need to start with the high hand again, and the high hand is the King of Clubs. I'm going directly to that hand and asking the player, King of Clubs, whether he wants to check or bet. King of Clubs, check or bet. The player opts to bet $5, which is the proper betting structure on 4th Street and 510 7 Card Stud. I'll go to the next player and ask him five to call. The player decides to put out a $25 check. And in this situation, it's called an oversized check. Because in this one check, there are two bets this player can make. It's either a $5 bet or a raise by five to make a $10. Because the player didn't announce the bet that he would place, I need to take the lower amount. The dealer never assumes that the player is going to make a raise by placing an oversized check in the betting area. So I will continue and ask this player to bet five or to raise. Sir, call the five. The player opts to call the five. I am going to take in the bet on the left hand side first, right into the pot. And I'm going to take the bet in on the right hand side with my right hand and right into the pot. I need to make change for this player and I need to go into the house rack and I'm going to take out five reds. The player owes the pot five dollars. I'm going to drop it in the pot and hand off the change to the player and return the twenty-five dollar check to the rack. So now I had given the player his change and in this lesson that describes the oversized check.